When you first receive your GD20 kit, it's going to include the following. A GD20 blood glucose meter, carrying case, one lithium battery. You're also going to get instructions in the owner's manual and the quick reference guide and then in the operations and procedures manual. Some great features of the GD20 meter are auto coating, state of the art GDH enzyme hospital grade strip technology. The meter is also coated with OxyTitan antimicrobial coating, which keeps your facility, staff, and residents safe. It's meant to augment your facility's infection control protocol. The test results will be visible within seven seconds. The meter only requires a tiny blood sample of 0.7 microliter. There is a strip ejection button, no need to touch those used test strips. And this meter can test through more substances than most other meters. It also has a broad measurement range of 20 to 600 milligrams per deciliter. There's plasma reference results and alternative site testing for those patients that need to test more than once a day. The meter also can store up to 448 test memories with the date and time stamped on each result. Some important items to note. The GD20 blood glucose monitoring system should only be operated between 50 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit below 85% relative humidity. Make sure to store your meter and strips at room temperature and never use any other strips other than the GD20 test strips. Using other test strips with this meter will produce inaccurate results and may break the meter. When your meter arrives at your facility, it's going to be set with the correct date and time. And lastly, details not covered in this video can be addressed in the owner's manual, and then the operations and procedures manual.